There are millions of Minecraft servers, and each one is a world of its own. What makes these worlds so unique? To find out, I'm joining 100 of them, which seemed easy until I joined server 1. What the f I couldn't do this alone, so I invited my friend Vortex to join the other 99 servers with me. There was nothing really special about server 2, because I chased Vortex down with a wooden sword the whole time. Same with server 3, which was a replica of the Earth. Florida, we're in Florida right now. It wasn't until we left server 5 when Vortex said something that surprised me. Bro, this game has just like, not been as fun as it used to be, you know? Which made sense, besides a couple times when I invited him on, Vortex had practically never played Minecraft in the last couple of months, so I had a new goal. Not just to join 100 servers, but to show Vortex that this game was still fun. And on server 8, I had the perfect opportunity. Are we just gonna die off the bat? <laughs> no, no, no. I'm feeling you. I'm yeah, feeling you're fine, you're fine, you're fine you're here. You're fine you. here. Turns out everyone on the server was already in maxed out gear. The server owner warned us that we were standing inside of a safe zone, and as soon as we stepped outside of the area, every player within a thousand blocks of us would attack. I was hesitant to leave at first, because our game is hardwired to kick us off any server upon death, meaning we only have one life per server. But after hearing that Vortex wanted to make a run for it, I decided that if there was going to be anything to make him enjoy this game, it was going to be this. Go, 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 go! Hey, follow me, follow me, follow me! Oh my gosh, everybody's go! Everybody's chasing us! Oh, oh god. Yo, run faster! Bro, I'm go, trying! Go, go, go. This, way, this way, this way! There's a, there's a TNT right there. Keep running that direction. Go, go! go. No! It's what? raining, it doesn't... Wait, my TNT doesn't light! Oh god, you guys are gonna have to keep going. Uh-oh. Run, Vortex, run! Oh, it lit, it lit! It lit? Wait. Oh my. Oh, oh my god! <laughs> we're alone, just... we're alone. Vortex, we're alone! <laughs> With no one to guide us, it wasn't long before Vortex was killed, and the two of us were disconnected. We weren't allowed to join back, but Vortex's reaction said it all. I was pretty good. I was close. Server 10, we ran around aimlessly on a snowy mountain. There was a little timer at the bottom of our screen, but we never quite found out what it did. But we did find something on server 12. Oh, uh, bro. Uh, what what the heck? I quickly realized that joining so many servers would get repetitive fast. So as day one of our journey came to a close, I created a list of five goals that I thought would make this experience much more fun, if we achieved them. All of these are pretty self-explanatory besides the last one. The Vortex means that Vortex himself has to want to keep playing on a server after our game kicks us. If this were to happen even just once, my goal with this project would have succeeded. Taking all of this into consideration, I joined server 13 the next day with Vortex and of course, there was nothing special. On server 16, we spawned next to a chest of valuables and flew around the server to check our surroundings. Eventually, we found and followed a long path that led us to an iron farm built in the middle of nowhere. We went through this process for the next hour or so, server after server, and nothing or no one online. That was until server 21. Oh! This was a message left specifically for us, telling us that the only civilization on the server was thousands of blocks from spawn. As I glanced back at my list, I realized that this was my chance. Oh, uh, there's some piglins, bro. There's some piglins. Ah! Bro, let's not die on this one. But we soon ran into a huge problem. We had entered the nether, assuming a portal would take us to the civilization, yet we couldn't find one. Our only option was to go back and make the trip via the overworld with our hunger completely gone. Um, I'm gonna look for food. Luckily, we stumbled across a villager breeding farm stocked with potatoes, and as we boated on, I began to wonder. Was there something actually at those coordinates, or was our time being wasted? It seemed like Vortex was also thinking the same thing, until suddenly... Oh, we're getting, we're getting here. I think it's... Oh, wait, it's... Oh it's my gosh. Coming. It has to be this house right here. We decided to leave a message and then join server 23, riding a short roller coaster built at spawn. Let's go! Oh my gosh, it's so loud. Vortex didn't seem to care though, and as a matter of fact, he only said seven words during our entire time walking through the nether. Did he go towards another portal? Vortex, it's not that hard, dude. Even when I tried starting a conversation with him, it still seemed like he wasn't having it. So, uh, how was your day today? You know, it was alright. What'd you eat for breakfast? 
Put some uh, eggs, you know. I had no idea what to do at that point. I couldn't control what these servers had to offer, and the longer we went without anything enjoyable, the worse of an experience this would be. So I did what any other person would do in my situation. I changed the server list. If there's one thing Vortex loves, it's fan art. He loves it to the point where he probably brings it up at least once a day. Lucky for me, I'd gotten the IP to an artist-only server, so I invited Vortex to join. Hi. Hello! Uh, wait, Vortex, why do you already have a sword? It wasn't long before we were offered a tour. Yeah, we would love a tour. So, first up on the tour, the first town of the first server. And while they were giving us a tour, you know what Vortex did the whole time? He attacked me. Oh, okay. Over and over. You know what, I'm gonna come out and say it, boats are kinda overrated. Be quiet. British do not get opinions wrong. <laughs> and then proceeded to trap me in a basement. How'd you get so much? He's just, he's trapping me down here. My plan did end up working though, not only being somewhat of a reset for Vortex, but also crossing off another goal on the list. The next few servers completely broke the laws of Minecraft. Server 31 gave us crystals that allowed me to fly, let this person summon lightning, and caused part of the owner's house to burn down. Oh no, this house is gone! Oh no! And if you thought that was crazy, this server gives us a random player size when we join. I was given 75%, but Vortex- Bro, look at me down here! Vortex, do you see this guy down here? Do you see the hawks down here? The hawks? Uh, look, Where? look down! I, I oh here. my god, what? <laughs> if I get in the water- that is, that, that Wait, that do you have full weather right? <laughs> Everything seemed to be going well. We had crossed off two of the items on the list and were now cruising through servers. Occasionally, when we join one, the people online want to talk to us. So on server 43, we joined a call with the owner who decided to give us a tour of their base. Yeah, so this is our little bakery my friend made, but we had the bedrooms towards over here. And then the owner said something that I never expected to hear. Question, how do I, how do I know if you guys are really parent? If you guys are really part, I don't know who you are. Wow, he doesn't know me, parrot. I, I don't like the server anymore. If that happened in real life, I would have been able to hear a pin drop. I think Vortex took it a bit too seriously because when we left the server, Vortex left my call soon after. I felt kind of bad. I would brought Vortex on to have fun, not to get discouraged. And that's when it hit me. Fun. We weren't having enough of it. Put simply, I was taking everything way too seriously. So when we logged on the next day to join some more servers, I had a proposal. All right, Vortex, today we're just gonna have as much fun as possible. And that is exactly what we did. Hello. Nah, there's no way it's here, bro. Hello. Yo, I can't tell if this is the real pair. I can't tell if this guy's me. Oh. Hello. hello. I'm no, saying hello. It's a soundboard. It's a soundboard. Yeah. Oh, they're low. They're low. Kill him. Kill him. Oh, no. Kill him. I'm gonna kill die. Kill I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. So what? Eventually, we stumbled across a server with someone online, and at first, we didn't think much of it. They weren't responding to us in chat, so we simply moved on. As we were exploring, though, I noticed something peculiar. That's a bamboo. Wait, someone's here. How do you know? Someone's like right here. Do you hear that? Wait, I gotta pick. Someone's right here. What? We had somehow stumbled across a player's AFK spot. Should we troll them? We should troll this guy, bro. <laughs> now we had some new plans. What if we brought him up to world height? No, why don't we just Spencer like Curse of Binding Armor? Wait, yeah, Curse of Binding Pumpkin. We quickly realized that this person could return to their computer at any moment. So we needed to get the necessary items as soon as possible. Dude, what are the chances we find this guy? Curse of Binding! Where, yeah, where, no. where, where, where? All right, Villager Factory, Villager Factory. Wait, do you have bubbles? Yeah, I have seven. You wanna do the honors? Here's the redstone torch. All right, go ahead. Nah, bro, <laughs> he's looking goofy right now. We're halfway done. This was really starting to get boring. I know I said I was doing this to prove something to Vortex, but I was beginning to prove something to myself. Servers were blurring together. We ran through jungles, explored bases, and burned down buildings with no purpose. Wait, wait, light, light the frick out of the side because I want a screenshot. It also didn't help that practically no one was online anymore, so we tried to make the most of the rare circumstance when somebody was around. Ow! Is there a full on fight just breaking out? Yeah, there is. I'm just gonna leave oh, this feed. Or... Oh my god! <laughs> Oh no, he just tried into it. Uh oh. But there was something that was still glaringly obvious. We had joined almost 70 servers, and two items hadn't been crossed off the list. I found a cool way to use crossbows, though. 
Oh my gosh, bro. On server 71, we logged in to see a huge castle built at spawn. It wasn't long before countless members greeted us, and that was when I learned the dark truth of this server. What like happens if I just kill Mock Todd right now? I literally time. everyone would love you. Rumor had it that there was a player that couldn't be stopped. A player that no one dared to fight. A player- Dude, Target Mock Todd! Thank you, thank you, thank you. Eventually, we agreed to have a fair duel. Me versus Mock Todd. Some would say that the entire future of the server rested upon my hands. We'll see about that one. But I want to bring up that I'm going to throw Minecraft's largest fireworks show at the end of the year. And each time someone subscribes before then, I'll be launching one more firework. We're already setting off 1.12 million of them, but I'm sure that's going to get a lot bigger. So, claim your firework by clicking the subscribe button. No totems. No totems? No totems. 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 Alright, alright, let's Ow. do it. Yeah, they're legal. Back at spawn now. We have to go to the public! Oh no, I'm dead. Oh I my god, I had a class! Be quiet! It was obvious that Mock Dodd outgeared me, and it wasn't long until I lost. But I hadn't failed Vortex. He had been watching from the sidelines the whole time. It also seemed like I hadn't failed the server members themselves. If I let you talk to my mom, Aaron, can you be in the video? Aaron, Aaron, Aaron. If you get your mom on the mic right now, I will put that in the video. Mock mirror! One item was left on the list, and there was nothing I could do about it. On server 74, we got Operator on a pay-to-win server and completely griefed its economy. Bro, this kid's about to snitch on me. Why? Because I just gave him 10 shulkers of it. Enchanted gapples. On server 77, Vortex killed me. And again, and again, and again. Even when we spawned the warden repeatedly in what seemed to be a survival server, my heart continued to sink. There was simply nothing I could do to scratch off that last goal. And then, something peculiar happened, long after I got off my computer. You ready? I assumed Vortex was talking about joining server, so I said nah, not till like 7. And exactly at 7 p.m., Vortex says, POV, it's 7. Vortex asked me to get on, saying a fan had invited us to their server. So, I joined and was greeted by Guest Beetle 5515 and Wind underscore River. I really didn't think much of it at the time, until a lot later on when something odd happened. I feel like dream right now. I have plenty to seal. What? The portal's not it, lighting. Wait, what? Oh! We soon found that the server's advancement guide had been messed with, and this was some sort of elaborate puzzle. Is that why Vortex had invited me to come on? And if so, did he actually know about all of this beforehand? The answer was soon revealed upon solving the first clue, where I died in the nether shortly after. Vortex was hesitant to leave the server. In fact, he didn't want to leave it. He wanted to join a call with the people who had created the server. And upon joining... Ah, uh, we made it just for you. <laughs> wait, 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 hold on. <laughs> is this who I think it is? Um, my dad made this puzzle just for you. What the yeah, heck, trust, bro? Trust What's trust up, Boosfer? And it wasn't just Boosfer, but also our good friend, Rekrat. <laughs> <laughs> to be oh fair, God. this was Boosfer's idea, not even mine. I'm a tag along. Yeah. <laughs> oh. That's when it struck me that Vortex had not only crossed off the last item on the list, but he had gone out of his way to do it. Did it actually mean anything, though? The only way I could find the answer to that question was if I joined a server one more time. I was so tired of joining them at this point, but this was a server many of you are very familiar with. No, oh God, epic, the Lifesteal SMP is a server that Vortex and I have been playing on for the past year. Every so often, there's a season reset, and Vortex has been around for every single one. Except this time, everybody was on except for one person. Vortex himself. Maybe everything I had done had been for nothing, or maybe some people just move on. But just as the season was about to start, if you could see my face, I'm pretty sure I was smiling uncontrollably right then and there. But I still think Vortex had a point all along. Maybe he was right about this game not being fun sometimes. After all, how can something be fun when you're doing it alone? You there, I highly recommend you go watch this video where I build Minecraft cities in literal seconds. I know it sounds impossible, but if you want to figure out how I did it, just click that big video in the center of the screen.